No one asked, but this is the story of how my boyfriend proposed and my first time experiencing the Philippines. It all started out in Manila. Wow, she's tall enough to bring it all the way to my face. And we're trying to find something to eat. It's called uh, manam. Yeah, manam. I heard that there's synagogue with watermelon cubes in there, so I'm very curious to try. And we're at the Mall of Asia. Apparently, the IKEA here is also like the biggest in the world. So we're going to check that out later as well. It looks like a lot, but the portion was actually perfect for two people, and Kyle approved it 10 out of 10. Next, we went into the mall and shopped for souvenirs at a store called Cultura. It has a ton of cute things made by locals, and it's probably my favorite store. We bought some gifts for family and friends in here. We are waiting for our tour guide. He's going to take us around Boracay. And what are we doing? We're going to Bulabog Beach, Mangrove Park, Boracay, and the Niwid Beach, Boracay. They have this clear kayak where you can just, you know, take photos and such. Wow. Wow. While we're waiting for our driver, I'm going to show you guys what's in my bag. First of all, I've got this at HM. So gorgeous. I love it. It fits. So many things. Anyway, all of the essentials today. This is a dry bag. If you go in the water, it'll keep your stuff dry. A little bit of water, deodorant because you never know. Chapstick with SPF. It is watermelon flavor. So it smells good and it tastes good too. You're not supposed to eat it, but I licked it a few times. I have my bikini top that I'm going to be wearing later. What else do I have here? I have a waterproof case. My phone, of course. A snack just in case I get hungry. My lipstick this is my favorite color that I wear all the time. I'm wearing it right now. Hopefully it didn't smudge from the, my mask. A little bit of money and uh, another water bottle because you can never stay hydrated enough. Last thing is this other clip. I bought it the same time that I bought this clip and it's just so cute. We're going to do water sports today, so I have this phone case, money clip here, and I bought this. Well, Kyle bought it for me. We have a matching shirt at the mall. He's not wearing it though. You know why? Tell them why. <laughs> Kyle said he's not wearing his shirt because Asian sizes are too small and the shirt didn't fit him. We're packing it up. Hi, not hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we're staying at a different hotel today. It's called Shangri-La. Say it again. Shangri-La. Wow. Did I get it right? Yeah, well, it's just Shangri-La. Shangri-La. Shang sounds better. <laughs> but um, this is their breakfast spot down here and it looks so good. So we're excited. How do you like Filipino bread though? This is delicious.
What's happening? <laughs> You're probably wondering the same. So before this clip plays, let's rewind and I'll tell you what happened. We got ready for dinner and then we took some pictures because I felt cute. Then we walked towards the dinner place and I saw a bunch of flying bugs. I was walking behind Kyle and I saw them swarm on his shirt like this. And my dress was backless so I knew if his back looked like that, imagine mine. So that brings us to here. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> so many bugs everywhere. They were all over his shirt. How scared. They were going to about to eat you up. They're not biting though. What, what are you wearing? I'm <laughs> wearing your shirt. I'm protecting my back. I'm scared. It's a fit though. Okay. All right. Uh. <laughs> You're ready to uh, conquer? Yeah. Say uh, refrigerator in Filipino. Refrigerator. <laughs> Frigidar. Frigidar. <laughs> The next day, we had a flight to Coron and we arrived around noon. We stayed at the Two Seasons Hotel and they have incredible food. Hands down, it was definitely one of the best meals I've had in the Philippines. After that, we went jet skiing and swam in the pool at night. We booked a private tour to see Coron and our itinerary included 9 attractions and lunch. First we got on the boat and they gave us life jackets and water shoes. Then we sailed away and they took us to some beautiful spots to free dive. The water was so clear and beautiful, you gotta see it in real life. Still, I was a little scared to get in the water. But my tour guide encouraged me and I felt very safe that he was there so once I got in, I had a blast snorkeling and looking at the coral reefs and all the fishes below. One, two, three. Lunchtime. The crew prepared this meal on the boat and it was delicious, 10 out of 10. After that, they took us to some more spots to swim. You can see our tour guides here. And here's the kuyas. They take great pictures. Hi, hi, sir, ma'am. Welcome to Twin Lagoon. Make sure you hire them when you come here. Yeah, hi, guys. <laughs> guys. At night, we went to eat at a place called Lobster King. This was our second time there because it's just that good. We ordered lobster and you can see it's all fresh. You can choose what you'd like or they can pick it for you. 
I also drink coconut juice every day because it's so good. The next morning, we did a crazy thing and decided to climb up 750 steps of a mountain. I think Kyle really enjoyed it though, because we can see him chilling while his cousin and I almost died. But we eventually made it. The view was really beautiful. After Coron, we spent a lot of time exploring Manila. One of my favorites was Intramuros. It's basically a historical district. You can find a lot of history, beautiful scenery, and infrastructures there. This beautiful garden was also practically empty, so you can enjoy it without a crowd. Everything in Intramuros is pretty close, so you could actually take a trike or walk to each spot. After walking, we got really thirsty and found this cute cafe that has a great view of the cathedral. On another day, we also decided to go back to La Picada since it was closed the last time we went. We ordered a few things and it was really good. The whole vibe of the restaurant was really cute and I loved how adorable the plate is. Later, our friends Ida and Miguel joined us and it was really fun meeting them. After lunch, we walked around BGC and found this market area. We also spent a lot of time hanging out in malls in Manila. There was always something to do in there, like shopping, movies, nails, hair, and restaurants. It was really lively. We also tried this ramen spot, but it doesn't hit the spot like Ichiran does, and that's okay. In one of our last days there, Kyle's uncle took us to a hot spring resort in Laguna. <laughs> you can get a day pass to go in, and since it was a weekday, the place was practically empty. There were a lot of pools with different temperatures, and I tried putting my foot in the hot ones, but I really couldn't handle the heat. They say it's good for your body, but on a hot day like this, I prefer the cold pool. Later on, we ate and the food was really good. I ate a double set with some rice, which is one of my absolute favorites. Kyle was really happy too, as you can see here. On our departure day, we saw a beautiful sunrise, and for me, it symbolizes a new era. It feels weird in a way, especially now that we're engaged and I feel like I'm really, really growing up, but I'm looking forward to growth and sharing new chapters together. Thank you to everyone who's been here. I'll see you guys in the next video.